Welcome to Ignani.com. Microsoft SQL Server 2012. Chapter 2, SQL Server 2012 Tools. Part C. Understanding Object Explorer, in SQL Server Management Studio 2012. Previous video, covered the process of connecting to a SQL Server instance, using SQL Server Management Studio. Now that we have successfully logged in, and are in SQL Server Management Studio, let us explore it further. In this video, I will cover the Object Explorer, and Object Explorer Details page. Once you connect to a SQL Server instance, the Connect to Server dialog disappears, and you can start using SQL Server Management Studio, to perform your tasks related to the connected database. SQL Server Management Studio presents information in Windows and panes dedicated to specific types. Database information is shown in Document Windows and Object Explorer. Document Window This area of SQL Server Management Studio is what we refer to as the Document Window, which is the largest portion of Management Studio, and can contain query editors and browser windows. Object Explorer Object Explorer is displayed on the left side of SQL Server Management Studio. If you don't see it, you can select View, Object Explorer from SQL Server Management Studio menu, or press F8, which is the keyboard shortcut. It is a tree view containing all the connected instances of the SQL Server Database Engine, Analysis Services, Reporting Services and integration services. It includes information related to all the servers to which it is connected. Let me take you through the various nodes in the Object Explorer tree. Note, I will be covering only the nodes of a database engine in this tutorial. SQL Server Instance This is the topmost node in the tree, which displays the SQL Server Instance name, version of SQL Server Instance and the user account used to connect to the instance. For every SQL Server instance that it connects to, whether it is a database engine, analysis service, reporting service or integration service, a node is displayed. However the child nodes vary depending on the server type. Database this node holds the system and user databases within the SQL Server instance that it is connected to. All the databases that are created by users will be under the database snapshots subnode. Security This is where you can find the list of all SQL Server logins, roles and other security related objects with respect to the instance. Server Objects The Server Objects node holds the objects such as backup devices, triggers, endpoints, and provides a list of linked servers with its providers. Replication This node contains the details involving data replication between various databases, either on the same SQL Server instance, or on different instances. Management. This node holds the objects such as policy management, data collection, resource governor, maintenance plans, database mail setup, etc. Integration services catalogs. This node holds the list of catalogs, which will store all the integration services objects. SQL Server Agent. SQL Server Agent builds and runs tasks within SQL Server at certain times, and details of successes or failures of these tasks are sent as notifications via email, or other mechanisms as defined within SQL Server. The running of these tasks, the notifications of these successes or failures, and other details are listed in this node. Object Explorer is an important tool, that allows to perform a variety of tasks. 
It can be used to connect to the database engine, analysis services, integration services, and reporting services. Let us try connecting to SQL Server database instance from Object Explorer. On the toolbar of Object Explorer, click Connect, which displays a list of possible connection types. Select Database Engine. The Connect to Server dialog box appears. Since we opted to connect to the database engine, the server type dropdown is disabled. Type the name of your SQL Server instance, or select it from the dropdown. Next, select the authentication type, and enter the credentials if required. Click Connect, to connect to the server. Object Explorer can be used to perform a lot of other tasks such as creating a database, taking a backup of the database, restoring a database from a backup, and so on. I will cover them throughout this tutorial as and when we use them. Object Explorer Details page Select the topmost node in the Object Explorer, and open the Object Explorer Details window, either by selecting View Menu, and then Object Explorer Details, or by pressing F7 keyboard shortcut. Notice the page that loads up in the document window. This is the Object Explorer Details page. It displays a detailed report related to the object selected in Object Explorer. Reporting Services creates this report, and it opens in the document window. Not just the topmost node, but for any node that you select in the Object Explorer. A summary page similar to the one shown here is displayed. For each node in the Object Explorer, the Object Explorer Details page provides the information that is most likely required about the selected object. As you can see, the Object Explorer Details page has two panes. The List pane on the top part of the page, displays a list of objects for the selected node in the Object Explorer. The details pane which is below the list pane, displays the information most likely to be of interest for each type of object. In the next video, I will cover registered servers and central management. You can find, a lot of free video tutorials, training materials, how to videos and much much more at our site www.ignani.com. Post all your questions at our site. We will be happy to help you. We want your learning process to be as interactive as possible. Feel free to contact us.